This happens all the time in Mr. Erickson's fifth grade class at Lincoln Elementary in Escondido. Students in class texting on their iPod Touch. OMG! But these iPod Touches shouldn't be powered down and put away. Every student in this class is using them to learn. It's an amazing way to engage the students and at the same time they think they're playing games but they're really learning the specific uh, curriculum and standards that we need to um, achieve in this grade level. Inside these little handheld devices are powerful tools, applications that have a huge impact on the way these students are learning and the way teachers are teaching. And we are going to just blog some of our reading comprehension questions together. So everybody hit iBlogger. About 80-85% of my students are language learners in this class this year and I can't even begin to tell you how much this tool, this iPod, helps them. A lot of people have been skeptical. I mean, I share what I do, and I'm so enthusiastic and excited about it, and people be like, oh, they just get to, your students just play on their iPods? What do they do, listen to music? And I'm like, actually, well, look. And you don't have to look far to see the impact this type of technology is having. It's like a video game, but it's about, it's about math. Another game, idioms. You can learn idioms like verbs, pronouns, adjectives, and all that kind of stuff. I think you can learn from them. I would not say that this is the future. I would say this is the present of education and should be the present of education. Kathy Shirley is the Director of Technology and Media Services for the Escondido Union Elementary School District. She says since the iPod Touch arrived in the classroom, students are more motivated, better behaved, and most importantly, are showing huge gains. Simply put, the iPod Touch transforms the classroom. We're seeing the impact of the iPod Touch in all areas of our student population, from our English language learners to actually our higher performing students as well. Uh, they're all making uh, tremendous gains, gains that we would not have expected and don't see with other kinds of teaching tools. Here, Mr. Erickson is using the iPod Touch as a reading tool. Students blog the answers to questions while reading along in the book. Right now, you're on iBlogger, and our first question, oh, I would also have my reading book out on page 524. And it's not just reading. What about math? Well, there's an app for that. I did a little research and I found a few applications to teach fractions and within five minutes I hear, oh, I get it, oh, I see what we're doing and it's just, it's so much easier for them to take, um, to have a desire for their own learning rather than trying to have me force feed what they need to know. The iPod Touch also okay. gives teachers instant feedback on how their students are doing. For example, like if somebody needs to work on their multiplications by seven, I'll know instantly who needs to work on that just by looking at their iPod within five seconds. Many believe that electronic learning is the future of education. But just ask any of these students and they'll tell you the future is here and it's portable. Math is my favorite. I'm playing Letterbug, and Letterbug is mostly about um, making words. This technology is the most exciting thing I have seen happen in classrooms ever in all of my years of being an educator. And I'm really excited to see where this whole concept of mobility goes. Of the Stalin warrior lemon.